principal of the Harmon School, which is the highest school down in Southern Highlands, located at Mittagong. It's a Department of Education and Training facility for those students who have very challenging behaviours. Uh, Ross Ball, I'm the assistant principal at the same school. It soon worked out that we had really similar thoughts about how we want the place set up and run the punches and all those things. I've mm-hmm. described the philosophy that we have. Yeah. It's, a, it's a life philosophy, really. Yeah. Right? And, um, and how people are treated, and how students are treated. Uh, I think that we have yeah. four things summed up, basically. Respect. Respect. Honesty. Support. Yeah. Fairness. The camps are really important to build relationships with the students. Uh, it's, it's amazing sitting around the camp where you can talk to uh, the students about what they want to do about sitting here at school. I find the camps extremely worthwhile. Not just the activities, although you know, we do some canoeing, we do some fishing, some abseiling, uh, rock climbing, rock climbing uh, which is good. That's what we call edge work a lot of that, getting kids on the edge because sometimes that's when I make decisions about things and you can relate back to it later. And that's that's, that's, yeah, so we use a lot of metaphor stuff yeah. um, because it provides the kids with both the concepts and the vocab to talk about what's going on inside and where they want to be and that's why the outdoors is so important because it provides that metaphor, it provides that opportunity to talk to the kids, it provides the opportunity to talk to um, the, the, uh, the kids on a really um, foundational level about what they want to do with their life. Um, because up to this point, generally they're, they're um, quite pessimistic about their futures. But if you're pessimistic about the, the future, um, yeah. And a lot of the outdoor program shows a lot of positive things that they can. And we also kind of like to put the um, notion that this is in some way preparing them for life. We are in the uh, Highland School developing egg plot. The kids made this suspended slab um, and then they jacked it up and put it on the legs. The whole idea about this school is uh, education is about employment, construction skills, um, and the kids that worked on this were working towards construction certificates that can be used in a resume when applying for a job, or more importantly, an apprenticeship. We're constructing also a glass house. Um, this came down as a uh, shade house, and uh, the kids with staff assistance have. Uh, rejigged everything and uh, we're now going out and sourcing glass. Here is the veggie patch. The kids have done it all except for the fencing which was already here and we were fortunate to have five established trees. The kids have made all the beds, put all the irrigation in and uh, have actually grown and sold vegetables. The kids that are doing it all, they're buying into their own futures. All education is about employment uh, and securing for these uh, kids a future based on merit. Uh, one of the programs we do is a uh, construction program in which the kids design and uh, make tables um, and then the tables are on sold to local primary schools. Uh, the, the kids are involved in all phases including budgeting, uh, logistics, uh, design and of course the construction which also involves things like designing and constructing the jigs to make these tables more efficiently. The things the kids have bought with the money they make from these tables are things like um, science equipment, maths equipment, art craft equipment, um, they've bought uh, history DVDs, they have um, obviously bought equipment to make the job of assembling and the tables more efficient. Uh, a number of power tools have been bought and the, um, the electrics that um, turn this area into a very effective industrial arts area have also been paid for by this money. I think it's about $1,200 of electrical work. So they learn to run a business which includes reinvesting capital, realising that 
the kids really were uh, benefiting from the programs, especially the outdoors programs. The uh, staff got together with the kids and uh, we sourced this structure you see behind me. I think the excluding electricals, the entire cost was $175. And uh, it means that the kids can uh, work on projects, even in the most inclement weather. It's not Everything in here has been bought with money that the kids have raised. One of the things that we're very keen is to teach the kids how to be self-sufficient. <laughs> kids go out. They uh, on dead tree on uh, private property and they've got permission to cut down these trees as they've been cleared anyway. They'll uh, cut each of these logs up into posters and then roll on a wood burn. Um, and Thanks, mate. Running courses on um, word processing, there's a Microsoft Word program, an Excel program. The kids go through and actually have a certificate at the end when they finish it, uh, which gives them just some basic understanding of how the programs work, enable them to set up a spreadsheet. And once again, they can put those certificates in their resume when they have to go and win a job on the I think if you were define, to define the, the school, it would be a place where um, everyone is treated yep. the same. Yep. If they get to the stage where they can actually see a, a secure future for themselves, then they're keen to move on. They're keen to acquire accreditation. They're keen to actually become parts of our community that are positive. Um, they're going to become part of our community anyway, and I guess we as a community choose whether we want them to be a positive or a negative part, and that's why I'm truly proud that the Department of Education and Training has gone down this path.